beautiful people. Today's video is about healing. It's about, it's just the truth about healing. Um, because I've just, I've had a lot of people asking me lately about why, why I don't have any pain, you know, how I healed my back and my brain and all of that. So let's do it. What I know is this, that your emotions create an electromagnetic field. So every emotion that you can experience is associated with a different frequency. And disease or damaged tissue, so if you have an accident, an injury, a muscle tear, there's a lowering of frequency. And this is what my mentor taught me over a decade ago. All disease is a lowering of frequency in the body. And just think about, you know, like a mammogram, when the doctor's checking for cancer, the doctor doesn't realize, but what they're actually, what they're viewing, because doctors aren't physicists, is an energy readout, okay? Because the, the, the cancer has, the tumor has a signature, a frequency. Everything Nikola Tesla said, if you want to understand this universe, think vibration, think frequency. So the, that, that tumor is a, is a lowering of frequency. And so the mammogram is an energy printout and then the doctor can say yes or no, um, whether or not someone has got the big C. So if all disease is lowering of frequency, and the state of gratitude and love, and I, I'm not talking about the love that most people are thinking of, the not uh, puppy love, ego attachment love, that sort of love. I'm talking real love, like the true self, that you don't need another person next to you, you know, guy your dreams, girl your dreams, or, or any of that. I'm talking real love in here. That's a higher frequency. So love and gratitude are the two highest frequencies that we can experience. And in that state, when you get that mastered and you embody that, there's a change in the electromagnetic signature of your body. And the HeartMath Institute of California have measured the electromagnetic field of your heart. When you move into that love, nine meters away from your body in every direction okay in that state you are more frequency you are more energy and you are less physical shell less matter and so when I came out of my coma 10 years of hate 10 years of depression drug abuse all of that and then I was forced into the present moment. I'm 42 kilos, I'm in a hospital bed, I've got tubes coming out of every part of my body, my face has just been cut off. I'm forced into the present moment and I could finally sit with it. I could sit with myself and I grieved. Like I'm in grief from the heart and I bawled my eyes out, probably for the first time ever. I finally cried and it shook loose, it just it let go. And then, because I moved that sorrow, I was able to step into love. And something came over me coming out of that coma where when I would move into that frequency of love, I could feel that nine meters away from my body. I could, I could feel my energy field expanding way beyond the walls of the room I was in. Um, now it comes and goes, but initially in hospital, it was just there. I was locked into that place for months, months. Uh, I can feel it now when I bring it up, I can step into it now. Um, so even though I'd had critical head injuries and even though I broke my back very severely L1, L2 and L3 and the radical reconstructive surgery and the damage to my eyes and all of that 
because I used emotional power and with the bleak um, projections from the experts I kept saying thanks for your opinion but you're talking about someone else like I just this unwavering belief just kept coming over where I just knew that yes that might be the case for a lot of people but it's not going to be my predicament I'm not going to move into the nocebo effect the nocebo the opposite of the placebo and so because of that I was able to consistently move into love and that means I changed my electromagnetic signature okay we're talking about frequency so how could this bring about a healing every part of your body is made up of tissues and organs and every they are all made up of cells okay cells are made up of molecules and atoms but every single atom out here all of it is 99.9999999% nothing physical nothing at all it's information it's light it's frequency it's it's energy it's vortices of energy okay that's not a theory that's the law so your cells are also made up of those atoms so cells are 99.999% frequency light information cells make the organs and the tissues of your body do you see where this is heading on a fundamental level you are energy you are frequency so when there's a healing the patient has been able to move out of fear and step into either that overwhelming gratitude overwhelming compassion or love and what happens is when that electromagnetic signature is held it entrains the lowered frequency so the damage the tissues the, the tissues the disease in the body that's a lowering of frequency that vibration there's a law known as entrainment and through entrainment it says that that dissonance that lowering of frequency is brought into coherence it gets brought into the frequency of love and if it's held for long enough there can be a healing and I'm living proof of that my back my face my eyesight my sense of smell so that's that's how your emotions are directly affecting your health okay that's how you can have a healing and I've met dozens and dozens of people around the world that have done this um, and the other thing that happens is when you move out of fear the body's own natural mechanisms uh, start to take over to rebuild the body okay everything starts functioning as it should you move back into order which is homeostasis organization see disease is more disordered and then when it's more ordered and coherent then you have health and fear and stress and worry obviously shut down the body's natural ability to do what it needs to do to be on the lookout for precancerous cells um, the genes that are required to lower inflammation in the body conversely when you're stressed and you're worried and you're fearful and you're anxious all the time that fight or flight um, reactionary state lowers the frequency you pull from the field okay to switch on the fight or flight mechanism you, you know that it's cortisol goes up you're ready to fight a fight or run or whatever and the problem is the presence of stress chemicals in the blood turn off your immune system it's simple as that if you keep buying into fear every single day the fear that other people would have us in you are shutting down growth and maintenance of your body okay the normal attrition of cells you've got all these cells dying constantly just naturally and they get replenished 
but the, the presence of that stress chemicals in the blood pushes blood to the arms and legs okay out of where you need it in the organs and that means on a cellular level you're, you're shutting off growth and maintenance because you're in a protective state so this is the trade-off we've got and this is the very difficult thing when it comes to healing is because you're in your body and for most of us doctors are God that's the God, you know that is God if they say that's how it is I lay down my guns and, and that's it that's how it is okay but we are playing a massive part in this and I've had countless experts and nurses and doctors say to me that they know the patient and the willpower is one of the biggest uh, factors in the degree of recovery and the speed of recovery and if my story is anything to go by I walked out of hospital 10 days after critical head injuries and being in a coma so it is possible it can be done can everyone do it I don't know I'm just telling you what I've learned over 10,000 hours of research and a 14 year journey studying the mind body connection and how the brain and, and our biochemistry works so that's how it works if you want any more information, you can reach out to me. Um, if this video has helped you in any way, can you hit the like button, post a comment, subscribe to the channel, share the video. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to do what I can to help other people and share a message of love. Um, and you would do the same if you'd been through what I've been through and experienced the inconceivable healing that I brought about in my own life. So that's where it comes from. Anyway, guys, that's it. It's today's video. Um, if that's not reason enough to experience love and gratitude, then I don't know what is. So, yeah, from my heart to yours, wishing you all the best.